What advice would I give to somebody who is just starting out in writing or thinking about getting involved in writing? My first advice would be just do it. Don't worry about being a Pulitzer Prize winning writer right off. Don't worry about the Nobel Prize. Don't worry about the New York Times, LA Times, or whatever Times bestseller list. Just write. You've got a story inside. You want to get it out. Just do it. Um, that was the thing that I realized when I was just starting out. And I was picking up every book and every article I could on how to write, how to get started, what to do, how to write this type of book, that type of book, whatever. And after a while, I realized they were all starting to sound the same. You know, maybe I need to find the next level of book. And I realized there wasn't a next level of book. I had to write it. Once you start getting the same advice, you've gotten all the advice you can be given. Now time to sit down in front of the typewriter, the notebook, the computer screen, whatever it is, and just face to face with that blank monster that will taunt you with the little flashing cursor. Say, here I am, catch me if you can. And then just take the bait, sit there, write. You know, you might come up with, uh, it was a dark and stormy night. You know, you might come up with that type of book. Then again, you might sit down and write something like, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Or, my name is Ishmael. Or some little innocuous phrase that is going to catch the attention of whoever picks up that book or that manuscript or that article or that essay or that poem and hang on to them. My next bit of advice would be the first draft is for you. You've got all these ideas running around in your head and you're trying to put them together in some cohesive form. And that's a hit or miss process. Your first draft is not going to do it because you've got the idea You've got the backstory to all the characters. You've got the backstory to all the situations. You've got all this stuff running around in your mind that makes perfect sense as you're telling your story, but you're telling your story to you. Once you put it on the page, now you realize you're telling the story to somebody else. And this is where you find the plot holes. This is where you find the inconsistencies. This is where you find all the stuff you need to correct to start making it what you need it to be. So don't be upset if you read your first draft and you go, oh my God, this misses the point and I didn't find the spots that missed the point from what you were thinking. Correct that. Reread it. Then when you think you're ready, one way or another, it's going to be going through an editing process. You know, you send it off to a self-publisher or you send it off to an editor or whatever. Or even if you just have some friends of yours in a writing group or people that are just kind of interested in your work, they're going to sit and they're going to read it. And if you've got a really good friend, they're going to critique it. Now, what you want to do is you want to find a friend or somebody who really likes you enough to want to read your book and really likes you enough to be honest and say, okay, I kind of got this. I didn't get this. This really didn't make any sense. This was pretty bad. This was awesome. And if they're going to be honest with you, they'll help you through that process. Um, if you go to an editor, you are paying her to make this book look good. She gets paid by doing a good job or he. They, therefore, will be honest and they will make this look fantastic because they make money if it gets published. Editing is a little brutal. I will tell you that. At no point does it go smoothly because they're basically taking your baby and criticizing it. 
And it's not a criticism to demean, belittle, or point out mistakes just for the sake of pointing out how bad you are. It's pointing out the mistakes, the pitfalls, the weaknesses, and everything to make it better. This is what you need to work on to make it as good as the rest of the story, as the rest of your manuscript, as the rest of your book. As difficult and painful as that is, think about it as a workout. You want to get in great shape. You want to get toned. You want to get ripped. You want to, you know, become fit. There's a lot of sweat. There's a lot of sore muscles. There's a lot of facing discouragement. And underlying all of that is that annoying little blinking cursor that even when you get to the end of your manuscript and you've typed the end, period, it's still right there. And on one hand, it's the little mechanical rabbit that they use in Greyhound Racing. It keeps going around the track and they want to catch it and it's always just out in front of them. Or the Devil's Herd in the song Ghost Riders in the Sky. They try to catch it and they never can. You know, it's always that little blinking cursor. That can be one way to look at it. But my other bit of advice is to look at that as the North Star. Something that leads you. Something that guides you. Something that keeps your creative juices flowing. That is always right there saying, come on. Let's go. One more. Let's see what's around this hill. Let's see what's over, you know, around this corner. Let's see what's behind this curtain. Something that will make you reach in and really delve into your own creative juices. So remember, yes, if you want to be a professional writer, it is possible. It's a lot of work and it's rough. But if you want to be a writer, it's because you want to create. You have a story that you want to tell. So tell your story. Tell it to yourself first. Realize how you need to tell it to others. And realize that the people along the way are helping you tell that. And don't be surprised if it's a little different when you're done than it was when you started. <laughs>